Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ryan here, and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to auto tune. So let's jump into it. So first up, what you want to do is you're going to want to open up your recording software. For me, I'm just using Audacity right now, and record what you're going to say. For me, it sounds like this. Auto tune. That's what mine sounds like. Now, after you record it, you're going to want to file and then export it to the audio. Once you have that. You're going to, it's right here on your desktop. Once after that, you're going to open up Audacity, I mean not Audacity, Adobe Audition. I have Adobe Audition CS6 right now. And import the file that you just recorded. So you're going to go File, Import, scroll down, Auto-Tune for the tutorial, open it. As you can see, I already have mine in, so I'm just going to delete mine and then re-import it. So again, File, Import, File, and then click on it open. Now you should see this. If you don't see waveform, then click up top and you'll click on waveform and you'll see that. Now that you have this, you're going to want to highlight the section that you wish to auto-tune. For me, it's the entire section. Next, after you have that, you're going to want to go up to the effects, go down to time and pitch, and then click on automatic pitch correction. Now this is what key you're singing in. I do not actually sing, I don't know how, so this is what mine is just set to, or what I set it to, I don't know what key I'm singing in, it's just, you can mess around with these, what key you're singing in and stuff, and what it sounds like. The sensitivity is, senses how much, or how sensitive, sensitive it is to what notes you are, and then the attack is how fast it'll change the auto-tune levels, like this. Auto-tune. So you have that, if you make it slow though, it'll go... Auto tune. This bar won't move as fast. See? Auto See tune. See Auto it? tune. So just bump that up to the fastest it can go. Now you can apply that. So you can mess around with your own settings. These are just my settings that I use when I mess around with Auto tune. Next, you want to go up to Effects. Keep keep your highlighted section. Go up to Effects, Reverb, Full Reverb. And this is what I just mess around with. You can mess around with anything you want. This is makes it sound like this. It, this makes it louder. This adds more of an echo to it. So, for instance, if I put this all the way up, you'll hear a giant echo. Auto like that. And I'm going to just keep mine down there. And you'll sound like this. Auto -tune. Auto -tune. This one changes the volume, so it sounds louder. Auto -tune. Quieter. And then this one, or the reflection, sounds like this. Auto tune. Once it maxed out, here's nothing. Auto tune. I don't exactly know what it does, but it does. It sounds like it enhances it to make it sound more crisp. You could say. Now that you have this, you can also mess around with all the settings. And this is just a custom preset. But if you go up here, they have many more presets that you can change on the full reverb. They can make it sound like you're in different places, like if you're in the shower or any other places. So now if you have what you want, click apply, and there you go, it'll change it. Now if you play it, auto -tune. you can hear it like that. So that's a quick tutorial, guys, on how to auto-tune in Adobe Audition CS6. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit a like button, comment, subscribe, and do whatever you guys do. Uh, rate the video, I don't care. Like, dislike, give me feedback. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.